So another thing I want to show is with these tabs, you are able to compare against different filters. Um, for example, let's just start with this one, Untitled 1. We'll just name this uh, Proteus. Let's go ahead and put that enhancement. We'll go with just the auto. So I am going to just select render one. We'll go over this in more details for one second. In normal circumstances, if you have an uh, enhancement on and you want to compare against the original, instead of going to split view or side by side on the single mode, you could just click and hold the left mouse button. So let me just zoom in a little bit, it's more obvious. Here we are, this is with Proteus at auto setting and I'm gonna just click and hold. Okay, and I could just hold and drag and you're able to kind of locate around or even if you just play that little piece. So just go to the beginning and I'm gonna go ahead and play it by hitting space bar. I can hold and that'll, uh, that'll show the original you let go and that's against the, the Proteus, the enhancement. So I, again, I just click and hold and that reveals the original. I let go and that shows the enhancement. So the great thing about this is say you want to compare against, let's say Proteus manual. Okay, we'll just do some random manual settings. So let's do Proteus manual. So again, enhancement, Proteus, I will enable parameters and we'll go with manual and I'm going to just sharpen like crazy, improve detail, just gonna go a little insane just so we could see a huge difference, okay? So I maxed out everything. Um, I'm again gonna go for one second. All right, great. So now again, I click and hold, that shows original, I let go, that shows original. But I want to compare against this one, which is the auto settings for Proteus. Again, I could always go to split view and I could compare against, oops, grab the wrong one, Proteus. Okay, nice and easy to see the difference. Uh, when you zoom in, you could also do the side by side and start comparing the difference. But there is another way to do that. If you go to single view, and this only works with single view, I'm going to right click, or you could hit these three little dots, but I'm gonna right click on the tab, and I'm gonna set tab as comparison. So I'm gonna click this, and when I go to Proteus manual, I could click and hold, and that'll compare against Proteus auto. So here's manual, and here's auto, manual, auto so that's one way you could do that so before it would be against source but now I could I have set the comparison to the other tab and now I can compare against the two another way to show you that's happening is you may have noticed it on the bottom left hand side you see on the timeline it will show that there is some sort of hold on another tab let's clear this I'm gonna set this to two seconds instead So while I'm on Proteus, and see how I've expanded the the render preview, when I go to back to Proteus manual, it shows the difference. This is only saying there is a comparison hold, and this is the amount of preview you could compare against. And right now we are looking at Proteus manual. Okay? So whatever tab you're on is going to be what is shown in green of what's been previewed. So I could be on Proteus, I could be on Proteus Manual. That's going to show what's been previewed. This second bar is just the hold. I can have three or four tabs and it's just going to show the length of the comparison hold. So I could go ahead and once I remove comparison, goes away. All right. And that means when I go back to Proteus Manual and I click on here, it's back to original source.